when you criticize a child, they don't necessarily stop loving you, psychologists say. They stop loving themselves. Oh, my God. That's such a good one. What the couple things you're not aware of. Like how to tweeze your eyebrows, for instance. The psychologist I interviewed talked about was being very clear about separating the deed from the doer. The guy's becoming embarrassed. That means, you know, your son comes home with a bad grade on his math test and you knew he was goofing off this week and not putting in any effort. He's a very strange young man. He's an idiot. And so you might say, I'm curious, you know, instead of getting furious, get curious. You know, I wonder why you got that grade. What do you think it is? Why are you disappointed by it? No, I think we've had enough of your joke. We are not amused. What could you do better next time? So instead of saying to them, you're so lazy or whatever, whatever a tired parent might say just out of frustration in the moment. Can't go to prison, Roy. They'll rape the flip out of me.